الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احببت في الله from one of the things that Allah Azza wa Jal has commanded us to do is spend upon our families and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all and forgive us all for our many shortcomings in these affairs. But from one of the types of crimes that people commit, that some men commit, in fact, some Muslim men commit, is not to spend upon their children after divorce. And there's so many ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which illustrate this principle of spending upon the family and spending upon the children and that this responsibility is not dissolved or is not gotten uh, it does not end with divorce and it came to me that one of our Muslim brothers said to his own child that you have a stepfather now I no longer have to spend upon you and he cursed her his own child and this caused hurt and pain in the child. So this lets us know to what level, how low a person can get when they depart from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu and what Islam orders us to do. And from a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is a hadith narrated in Abu Dawood قَالَ حَدَّثَنَا حَفْسِ بِنْ عُمَرَ قَالَ حَدَّثَنَا شُعْبَ عَنْ عَامْرُ وَبِنْ مُرَّ عَنْ عَبْدِ اللَّهِ بِنْ حَارِثِ عَنْ أَبِي كَثِيرِ عَنْ عَبْدِ اللَّهِ بِنْ عَامْرُ قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إياكم والشح والشح فإنما هلك من كان قبلكم بالشح أمرهم ببخل فبخلوا وأمرهم بقطيع فقطعوا وأمرهم بالفجور ففجروا In this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم The Prophet ﷺ said, Beware of being miserly. For verily what destroyed those people that came before you was being miserly or stingy. They were commanded with being stingy and they were stingy. And they commanded them to cut the ties of kinship and they cut the ties of kinship and they commanded them with sinfulness or lying and they lied it became widespread what we learn from this hadith is the sinfulness of those traits and that by being believers in Allah that the mu'min which strive, strives to keep ties of kinship, strives to spend in the cause of Allah, especially on those who they are charged in authority over, the wife, that means the husband spends on his wife or wives, that means the husband spends on his parents if they need, if they require, and his near of kin if they require, and his children. And that responsibility does not cease with the children, the male children, until they are able to provide for themselves. They have reached maturity and they are able to provide for themselves. Maybe they're uh, getting ready to marry themselves or they're working or they live independent, whatever the situation is. But that responsibility does not cease until then, as the fuqaha mentioned. And likewise, ahabatifillah, that when divorce happens, that that responsibility does not cease and it is a responsibility of the father as well to care for his daughters until they are married this is the Islamic command 
And so we hope that lessons will be learned and people will come back to the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and spend on those whom they're charged to spend upon. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith Qudsi that Allah azza wa jal said, Anfaq ya ibn Adam, unfaq ilayk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, as was reported by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the sacred hadith, he said, spend children of Adam and I will spend upon you. Letting us know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to spend in charity, wants us to take care of first and foremost our responsibilities. Spending, spending, it's not as painful as it may seem. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open all of our hearts and our pockets to spend in His cause.